Hey guys, welcome back to Excel VBA. In this chapter, I will demonstrate how can we save data onto Microsoft Word using Excel VBA. Um, now while we save the data at the same time, um, if you've seen the previous tutorials, you will know that we are capturing the execution time, the amount of time that it spends to save data on a different application. So let me jump down to the developers tab and visual basic so these two lines of code that I've highlighted you can ignore that part for now because that's solely to capture the amount of time that it takes to save data onto a word application via Excel VBA so to start off with you may want to define an object um, so let's say dim new word doc as object now, in order to open a Word document, you would first need to adapt to the create object method. So you will say set new Word document or new Word doc rather equal to create object word dot application. What this would do is this would create the instance of a Word application. Once the instance has been created, we can say new Word doc dot documents dot open now when we say open what we need to specify is the path where our file is stored or saved so for instance um, I've created a test file here I will right click go on to properties I will copy the path from right here I'll put them in quotes I will come down I will take the name of the file and um, I will take the extension of the file which is dot docx now once I've got the name, the path, um, the extension, um, I've pretty much um, got the code that will help me open my document. Now what I want to do is I want to copy the data from um, my existing Excel worksheet. So I will say range A2 to B2 dot select and selection dot copy. Now, while I've copied my selection, what I will save in the Word doc is new Word doc dot selection dot paste. What this would do is this would this would paste the selection, the copied selection, onto the Word document. And now, finally, what I can say is I can say um, new Word doc dot documents dot save. And then finally, I can say new Word doc dot quit this procedure would basically save the changes that we've made to the word document and finally this one will help us quit it now finally let's um, get the amount let's get the number of um, milliseconds that it took for us to complete this execution to save data on a word document through Excel VBA so we want it right here so we will say range h4 um, dot value equal to end time minus start time so um, that is it pretty much guys our code is ready now I will jump down to the Excel workbook without wasting any further time and I will assign this macro to a button that I've just created so I've done it now I will now click over here and what this should do is this should open up the word document as we can see it's made a selection and it literally took almost four seconds to complete this execution and save data on a word document using Excel VBA so every 1000 millisecond is a second so it's almost 3.8 seconds there so let us just all tab and see whether our data is actually saved onto this file and um, pretty much as expected we can see the data Jayesh and programming saved onto our file which is exactly what we copied from here even though the execution time was quite lengthy but but this is how pretty much we can save data on a word document using excel vba so anyways guys thanks for watching this video and please stay tuned for more